Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 36 on basic statistics. In this lecture also we will discuss one problem on correlation coefficient which was asked in GTU exam. So first we understand this question. Given that n equal to 25, that is number of values for x or y are 25. Sigma x is 125, that is sum of x values are 125. Sigma x square is 650, sum of all y values is 100. And sigma y square is 460, sigma xy is 508. So here we are given these values for two variables which they have denoted by capital X and capital Y. There are 25 values for each X and each Y and all these summations are given. Later it was found that two of the points 8, 12 and 6, 8 were wrongly entered as 6, 14 and 8, 6. So uh, they have collected some data for two variables x and y and they found that two of the points that is these two points 8, 12 and 6, 8 were wrongly entered. So whatever calculations they have done, they have done based on this uh, data for x and y in which these two values of x and these two values of y are not correct or they are wrongly entered. But actual values were 6, 14 and 8, 6. These were the two points which are wrongly entered as this. 6, 14 is wrongly entered as 8, 12, 8, 6 is wrongly entered as 6, 8. So this is not correct. Uh, data or uh, data with these two points is incorrect and data with these two points is correct and all these summations are done based on this uh, wrongly entered two values and we have to find uh, that or we have to prove that coefficient of correlation is 2 by 3. Now these two values are wrongly entered so we have to first correct all these summations. So uh, for example, here it is given that sigma x is 125. So here sigma x means sum of all the values. So in that summation, suppose values of x are x1, x2 up to x25. Now these two values of x8 and 6 are wrongly entered. So we have to subtract those two values from this summation that is we will subtract 8 and 6 because these two are wrongly entered. So we will delete them and we will enter these correct values. So to enter them we will consider 6 plus 8. So first we will delete wrong values from the given summation and we will enter correct values from the given summation. Similarly for sigma x square, here sigma x square is given as 650. But this is not correct because these two values of x are not correct. 8 and 6 are to be replaced by 6 and 8. 8, 6 are to be replaced by 6 and 8. And here we are taking square of x values. So these two are not correctly entered. They are incorrect. So first we have to delete their squares. So we will consider negative of 8 square minus 6 square. So we will delete square of these two x values which were wrongly entered. And then we will add square of these two values of x which are correct. And whatever summation we will obtain that will be corrected value of sigma x square. So same thing we will do for sigma y square, sigma xy and for all the summations. So here I have written incorrect values on this side, correct values here. So here x, y is 614, 8, 12 is correct value. 
दिस इज अ रॉन्ग पेयर एट सिक्स इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट करेक्ट पेयर इज सिक्स एट सो इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस टू इन करेक्ट वैल्यूज फॉर ईच ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई वी हैव टू यूज दिस करेक्ट वैल्यूज एंड वी हैव टू वी हैव टू करेक्ट ऑल दिस समेसन सो फर्स्ट समेसन इज सिग्मा एक्स इज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव सो फर्स्ट वी डिलीट वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स सिक्स एंड एट फ्रॉम दिस समेसन एंड वी एड करेक्ट वैल्यूज एट प्लस सिक्स सो हियर वी कैन सी एट विल कैंसल आउट सिक्स विल कैंसल आउट सो करेक्टेड सिग्मा एक्स इज ऑल्सो सेम एज ओरिजिनल सिग्मा एक्स देन करेक्टेड सिग्मा वाई सिग्मा वाई इज गिवन एज हंड्रेड सो वी हैव टू फर्स्ट डिलीट रॉन्ग वैल्यूज फॉर वाई रॉन्ग वैल्यूज फॉर वाई आर फोर्टीन एंड सिक्स सो वी माइनस वी राइट माइनस फोर्टीन एंड माइनस सिक्स एंड दीज टू आर करेक्ट वैल्यूज ट्वेल्व एंड एट सो वी एड ट्वेल्व एंड एट नाउ दिस टोटल इज ट्वेंटी दिस टोटल इज माइनस ट्वेंटी सो अल्टीमेटली करेक्टेड सिग्मा वाई इज ऑल्सो हंड्रेड आफ्टर दैट वी हैव सिग्मा एक्स स्क्वायर विच इज सिक्स फाइव जीरो सो करेक्टेड सिग्मा एक्स स्क्वायर विल बी इक्वल टू सो दिस टू वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स आर नॉट करेक्ट सो वी सब्सट्रैक्ट सिक्स स्क्वायर एंड एट स्क्वायर फ्रॉम दिस समेसन and we add square of correct values of x that is we have to add 8 square and 6 square so here also we can see 8 will cancel out 6 square will cancel out and the corrected sigma x square is also same as sigma x square which is given after that we have sigma y square which is 460 so corrected sigma y square is 460 Minus we have to delete these uh, two values of y, so we will subtract fourteen square and sixteen square, six square, and we will add twelve square and eight square. So four six zero, these two are wrong values, so we subtract their squares. These two are correct values, and uh, we find out all these quantities. Fourteen square is one nine six, six square is thirty six. One forty-four, sixty-four, and we obtain that corrected summation for y square is four thirty-six. After that, we have sigma x y, which is five zero eight. Sigma x y means we have to multiply x and y. Sigma x y is five zero eight. This is five zero eight. And it is obtained by multiplying corresponding values of x and y. Now these two pairs are incorrect. So first we have to subtract uh, this six uh, into fourteen. Corresponding to this, we have to subtract six into fourteen. Corresponding to this, we have to subtract eight into six. And these are the correct values. So we will add for this pair. Value of x is eight. Value of y is twelve. So we add eight into twelve, and similarly we add six times eight. So corrected sigma x y is five zero eight minus six into fourteen minus eight into six. This corresponds to wrongly entered values, and we add correct values plus eight times twelve plus six times eight, and after simplifying all this. we obtain that corrected summation for xy is 520 so now we have corrected all these values and we can find out coefficient of correlation using the formula alternate formula which we have discussed we know that coefficient of correlation is given by n times sigma xy minus sigma x times sigma y divided by square root of first we replace y by x here and we write down this term n times sigma x square minus sigma x into sigma x that is sigma x whole square and this term we write by replacing x by y here so we have n times sigma y square minus sigma y whole square now we have obtained corrected values for all these summation so we will substitute them in this formula
coefficient of correlation is given by r equal to this then we substitute n equal to 25 sigma x y is 520 sigma x and sigma y corrected values are 125 and 100 that we have substituted here also we substitute 125 for sigma x here 100 for sigma y sigma x square and sigma y square corrected values are 650 and 436 so that we substitute here for sigma x square sigma y square n is 25 and after doing calculations we obtain that coefficient of correlation is 2 by 3 so in this way we can have this type of problems so whatever wrong values are entered we will first uh, subtract them and we will add corrected values and in that way we will find out corrected summations and using the formula for coefficient of correlation we can obtain the correct value for coefficient of correlation so this question was asked in gtu exam and uh, i have solved this i hope you like it thank you very much